I don't even call Long Island a city. Please, sir, bring me another spot. Right. It is, it is its own thing. It's for. I have, I have a cousin. I have a cousin from Long Island, and he's a pansy. Oh my! No, God. no offense, no offense to my cousin. <laughs> it's all love, you know. I love him to death. But I know if I was in a fight, he would be the first one. I to would sleep. love to meet the guy who no made that, that word <laughs> pansy. Pansy. It just fits so perfect. Yes, oh, yes. oh, oh, shout out to my uh, my high school football coach, Coach Elmore. He brought the word pansy into my vocabulary. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, a, a friend of mine at church brought it up to me because he was calling his brother pansy. Yeah, pansy. he was like, you fucking pansy. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. That, that, hey, hey, my it, coach. It, it sounds like what it means. Yeah, yeah basically. Pussy, yeah. bitch. Softy, good boy. Well, yes. none of them are strong. There are none of them, not one. Uh -huh. Man, I went to Long Island. My, my experience with Long Island is five story, five story houses <laughs> with movie theaters inside. With movie theaters. Like, <laughs> put it to you this way: the Hamptons are in Long Island. It's too dangerous to go outside, so we have theaters in our house. Oh, I don't too think they used to go outside. You have to be a hard and, man. And, and, and and <laughs> If you've been to Massapequa, the ducks will kill you. <laughs> them ducks will kill you. Them ducks will kill you. Them ducks will kill you. Have you been to the Bronx? We'll eat the I ducks. I was born in the Bronx. <laughs> I'm Man, I've Bronx. seen people That's shoot down pigeons. But people. you didn't live in the Bronx. You were I born in the Bronx. There. I did But live you there. didn't live in the I Bronx. I lived there a week at a time. Did you, ever, a did you ever have to jump underneath a car to escape from being shot? No, because no, I told you. I'm you not didn't. Shot. Because you're from he said, I'm not getting because shot. Because you said I'm something to the wrong person. Say, I want to get shot. You <laughs> did <didn't. laughs> That's exactly even, what happened. I wasn't even involved. I was carrying my guitar. You were at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's exactly how I got hit by the cars at the wrong place at the wrong time. Going you to a gig? Shot, you don't go down that aisle. Going to a gig you at a church? I was do in the wrong place at the wrong time? You got when they you were shooting my house. Other way. Sorry? I said you got hit, you were leaving my house. I like, was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I have, I take a problem with that. Cause I don't believe you can really even categorize that. That's like a freak accident, really. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Predict these things. Yeah. No, you can't. That's if a car you accident. Like they happen every ten seconds. <laughs> this one, <laughs> especially in Georgia. Especially. In Georgia. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, shout out to Georgia drivers. Yes, every every yeah, drivers, get out of the way, pedestrians. I mean, everybody's been shot. You know, I've been shot at. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, I sure. have. I have. Who hasn't? Been? I have definitely. I mean, every, I've been I've been in the shot. club and shot the ring out. Yeah, but I mean, I mean it's, it's like part of it's like old news. But we had a you fashion know. show at my school and they were shooting our front of the school after the fashion show. <laughs> was it that bad? <laughs> was it Absolutely, that bad? we had a, the fashion show was great. Oh. And like we're all standing out in front of school congregating. A guy runs by, <laughs> and we'd stand there like, oh shit, they're shooting. And then the cops came. And, and imagine if this fashion show had sucked. Right. See, in, the, in, in, in Michigan, people don't run when they hear gunshots. <laughs> you just look at the camera. Sure the <laughs> the the oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, we good. <laughs> we see it all uh, happening. Like it was a straight line. Dude was running. Dude was behind him shooting. <laughs> So they weren't even messing with us. <laughs> we, were, we were in the safe zone. That was separate, right? He was, he was focused. So uh, if, he cool. did, if he didn't stop and glance to the left, <laughs> <he did. laughs> but he didn't even turn his head. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. And I was like, oh, damn. Oh, okay. What kind of gun is that? <laughs> what kind of gun is that? That's very, that's very common in Michigan. You can be anywhere at any time. There's the people that have gotten shot outside of funerals. It's serious. <laughs> Not even joking. Like, it, it can happen anytime, anywhere. That's big. That, that used to be big in Detroit. They used to have a problem with that. That's why people have closed funerals now, private right. funerals. Right. Because a lot of gang members, you know, mm -hmm. whether who got killed on which side, it'd be retaliation at the funeral because you know all of his buddies or right. gang or posse would be there. We had the Long Island Lolita. What's some it? vicious stuff? You remember the Long uh, Island Lolita? Uh, uh, Fisher. Uh, what was her first name? Uh, Amy, Amy Fisher. Amy Fisher and Joey Buttafuoco. Uh -huh. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, that's that's that, 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 that's what Long Island is okay. known. You have oh, to be tough. I didn't realize where it was. Where it tough happens. as nails. Tough. Imagine that happening to you. And the ducks are there. Oh my god. Watch, yeah. watch out for those japs. These, these goddamn ducks. I gotta meet these ducks. But I gotta feel an hour win. We'll bring one on the show. Please do, I'm hungry. Like, oh. Is it like the Aflac duck? <laughs> no, these are no, black ducks. Those ducks like aren't that clean. <laughs> they're just black ducks. Just black ducks. Duck. So are they like seagulls? Or? No, they're ducks. Okay. 
and they get and they, they only stay in superior numbers and they dominate the school field. So did you guys run from these ducks? Absolutely. See, you could them ducks could have been up. Because we just we just have outnumbered them. Like how many run? Eleven. Okay. No. If, if if they'd have been in the Bronx, we would have broke out the the grill. Right. <laughs> it'd have been a cookout. It'd have been a cookout. Everybody would have been happy. It'd Especially been with all the Asians out there, didn't it? Roast duck. What you oh mean? man. <laughs> we'd have had an open pit barbecue in the middle of the crack field. open the grill, man. Get some better barbecue than sauce and better than all. all. Better than all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you ever been chased by. Uh, of ducks one time. I've been chased by dogs. No, and it's funny. So unless those ducks got teeth and can bark, <laughs> I'm not worried about that it. Brings, that dogs. brings back a Vinny memory because one of one of the first things Vinny did as a little boy, uh, he, he loved to see pigeons congregate because the kick he always got was to run into the middle of them and all of them just flying off into the air. And there goes Vinny again. Running into the, you know, yeah, he, he, loved, he loved to, and, and he always, he always took to nature that way. He always took to animals that way, and that's why we thought he was going to be a, a, a veterinarian. Okay. Because it, he always took to. You don't get any pussy as a veterinarian. No, no. That's that's one of the main problems I saw with that. Really? Story. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the only the only that. pussy you will get is the kitty cats who come into the. The literal. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> and if we go in there, I was supposed to be a marine biologist. But, uh, wow. so another one, another thing I was supposed to do. Too. Well, 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 oh yeah, he was a. Movie. I love. I, I could jump in that fish tank right now and talk to those fish. I'm like a fish whisperer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> realistically, the amount of time you have to go to school, the amount of money you need to finance school, and the pussy rate, I just couldn't do it. And the amount of time you got to spend out at sea, man, it's like, yeah. oh, I can't. You would be lost. You would have no touch for reality. I you can't. Turn down a job and women don't want it. No, no, no. I mean, every everything in this world is done. In the pursuit of women. Come on. Breathe. Now you sound like, um, who said that? Um, That's a true statement. Adam, really? If you think about it. History, think about every movie. Think about everything that a man has ever done. Think about every politician and all these stories that are coming out about touching, grabbing. That wasn't for a woman, that was for a good time. A good time with a woman. Right. Yeah, but that wasn't their main goal. Yeah, it was their main goal. It was their main goal. I mean, the, it was to have a good time. To What's a good time? What's a good time, though? What was Marilyn Monroe to the president? Oh, uh-huh. Right. What was Monica Lewinsky? There. What was Sarah Payton? <laughs> strategy. A strategy. She was supposed to be a whore. She missed the office. She, she the was. Office. That was a strategy. She walked to the next office like, is this the what you would call it? Come on in, Sarah. <laughs> you, right, you know what? She did a better job than um. Robin. Yeah, you might be right. Hey man, I don't know what to say. You heard what the. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And this, and this is after only one show. One show. We've had to do an after Imagine, show. Imagine, we've been doing shows with him for over a month. <laughs> Wolf has a way to just dig into where people do not forget him at all. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing for us. <laughs> I never know when I'm being complimented. Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know nothing bad about this. Uh, I don't know, but you never know, like hidden me. You can't, you can't take it personally. I don't, I don't, I just like to understand. If, if, if you don't understand it the first time, you probably ain't gonna get it. And they're not gonna, they're, they're, they're not gonna try to explain it to you because these, these guys are assholes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes. I love it. I love it. They're not gonna try to explain anything to you back. It'll be good. <laughs> I just, I just shot the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, <laughs> the magic man. I like that name, the magic man. He has me on my hunches right now. I'm usually in control. Not right now. Right now I'm in the back seat, hoping we will crash. <laughs> where, where is this where is this whole conversation going? This is just the, this is our first after show. This is the first after this show. Is the first of its the time. aftershock. Because you have to listen to pod number nine to even understand what we're talking about. What the hell is what going on? Huh? What the nine? Yeah. We're just waiting on five. We're just waiting on five to get out <laughs> there. I'm not skipping any show. I went to ask you where are the other shows. I'm not going to send them until five. Until five. Oh, five. Oh, what what you you, 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 you can just read them. Have, them. I gotta have some power. This is bullshit. <laughs> 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 I'm not about to give up on these shows, and then you casually put out six, seven, and eight, eight. and we're still waiting on five. You think you know anybody would notice you just 
I would know what the eye on the other side is. I did that for a reason. Like, okay, he wants to hold off. That's cool. Sucks. cool. I can I'm hold done. Up to I'm done editing six and seven. And the sad thing is, I thought I was a genius. I said I'll just wait around until, and I'll just change six to five. And Never go. underestimate the black guy. <laughs> I, I actually thought that you were gonna do that, and that was, <laughs> and that was my reason. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hold off. I'm gonna wait because Lou asked me. He said, "Have you edited it? six? I said, "Yeah, it's finished." Dad, on this seven is finished. All I need to edit now is eight, and the one we did today. And five will be out today. I can't. I'm promoting this. And honestly, if you'd have took another day or two, I was just gonna do it myself. And I was gonna put it out, and you could have just got on YouTube like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, the Sean, the Sean Puffy Combs came on me like, "Nah, fuck that, son." <laughs> the funny thing is, I thought you'd do that, and I checked you. Well, well, you know, I tried to be fair and I tried to be honest. I said, you know, if he's uncomfortable. I have to listen because we have to work together. Mm. You know, I try to be a person. Yes. But eventually there's a business side like, fuck that. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So I have positioned myself <laughs> to win either way. That's the Michigan side of it. Yeah. Like I said, I try because I like Wolf and I, 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 I appreciate him being on the show. Very much tense. Liked. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and you know, I'm glad he picked that up. I didn't say liked, I said like. I have a list. <laughs> We're going to play this back. <laughs> I like Wolf, L-I-K-E, and I want to keep a good working relationship, but there has to be things that are done, and show number five needs to come out. It'll come Otherwise, out. You're, you're strangleholding our fans, because I've already promoted five, big. Unfortunately, I have too. Unwilling. So I don't get why, oh my God, are you afraid of vagina? No. <laughs> because that's all the show is going to get you. Once people hear you describing good sexual position, that's going to turn one into one. I don't even know what the sexual version was called. We called it the untwisted taco. I mean, un un untwisted Pre pretzel. 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 Taco was pretzel. Yeah. How do you twist it? Like, honey? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it makes you think. Because he was describing a position and Lou was just sitting there like, wow. And I was like, that sounds like an unraveled pretzel. You know how you had a the double pretzel and you unravel it? He was talking about a leg being locked with a leg off of the body. Ladies and gentlemen, he's doing things with his fingers I can't even <laughs> describe right now. Because I'm trying to remember how Wolf was, when he was explaining to me, I was doing this in my head. He was like, you lay together, and you know, you interlock, and then the legs are in the air together, mm -hmm. and one leg is down, mm -hmm. and then what else? Listen to podcast five. You'll have to hold it <laughs> when it comes out. Hey, when it comes out. If it comes out, oh, it is coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. It's One coming way or another, it's, it's coming out. out. What I do It's going to be edited and then unedited. You know thing. what? Happily, happily. Uh, uh, I don't even want to think about happily. No more viruses. It, it, it'll be. A, I, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a man of my word. That's not unfortunate. Sometimes. You, you will see later the benefits. You're gonna you're gonna laugh at this. You, later you're on. gonna you're gonna come back to us and say 